So we're told that in the xy plane, this point A10 lies on the graph of this function y equal to f of x. What that means is when x is 8, y is 10. So 10 is, or f of 8 is 10. They're, they're asking you to find a point that must lie on the graph of this function. So the way I did this is that I said, well, this needs to come out to be f of 8. Um, because then I, because I know what the value of f of 8 is. So to make this input 8, I need to choose x to be 11. Because if I replace x with 11, it becomes 2 times f of 8 plus 5. So when I, x is 11, this is the value of y. Now I do know what f of 8 is, that's 10. So if I replace that, I get 25. So that means when x is 11, value of y is 25. That means this point must fall on the graph of that function, which is choice D. Uh, this is one way to do it. The other way would be to, you'd have to test the answer choices. For example, if you were testing 525, does it fall on this function? We're saying is y, is that equal to 25? Is that equal to when x is 5? So 2 times f of 2 plus 5. Problem here is I don't know how to find f of 2. So this is not the answer choice. I'll do it for the correct answer now that we know it's 1125, which is, is 25 equal to 2 times f of 11 minus 3 plus 5? This is 2 times f of 8 plus 5. We know f of 8 is 10, so this is 2 times 10. 20 plus 5 is 25. Indeed, they're equal. So that's how we know that the answer is uh, choice E, actually. So let me correct this. It's, it's not D. I, I used the wrong letter. It's, this is 1125 is choice E.